Hello, my name is Gilad, I'm a product manager in Elastic, the company that develops Elasticsearch, and in this video I'll demonstrate how to create runtime fields using dynamic mappings. Runtime fields are our implementation of Schema on Read, which means we calculate the value of the field per document at the time a query requires it instead of indexing the field, etc. I'll start by creating a template. Uh, for my indices. I call this, temples, this template my dynamic index. I created by calling, uh, calling the index template uh, API endpoint. And I'm starting by defining that the index pattern that will take this template is anything that has a name starting by my dynamic index dash. So that means any index with a name that starts with, with that will get the mapping that I'm defining below. After that, I'm defining the template and the mappings, and I will define just two fields in, this, uh, in these uh, mappings, the timestamp of type date and the response code of type integer. Those two fields will be indexed quite normal. However, I'm also indicating dynamic runtime. This indication means that a doc if a document comes that has other fields, fields other than those two, the other that they, they, in addition to the timestamp and response code, those fields will be created as runtime fields. That means those fields will not be indexed, but will rather be calculated uh, based on the source at the time a query requires it. So let's create this template. And now if I'm looking uh, for the mapping of an index of that with the name of that format, like my dynamic index one, I'll get an error because such an index does not exist. But if I load some data into an index into that index, so I'm doing a bulk load here, and all of my documents have a timestamp field, a response code field, but also another field. I called it new TLA uh, and gave two values, either data one to two documents and uh, or data two to two other documents. So if I perform this bulk load, I suddenly have the index and it took the mapping from this template. So I have those two index fields, the response code and the timestamp. But I also have in my mappings a runtime field of type uh, 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 named a new TLA. That's just the name I gave here in the documents that I loaded. This field can now be queried just like any other field. So I can do a query here uh, on my new index for all the documents that have data one in a new TLA and I'll get those two documents, see here, um, or switch it to data two. And I all, can also have a query that relates to my index fields and uh, to my uh, runtime fields together in the same query. This is efficient for multiple reasons. First of all, when you are uh, allowing for the dynamic creation of fields based on fields that the documents that you're loading, that you're ingesting include, you're always running the risk that the document will somehow be ingested with many, many fields and will either significantly increase the size of your uh, index if there are many documents like that, or will uh, drive you towards the limit that you set for the maximum number of fields in that index uh, uh, situation, which we call uh, mapping explosion, because you have many, many fields. And when you're indexing uh, those fields as runtime fields, they do not increase your index size, they do not take time to index, and for that reason, they are not counted towards the limit that you set for maximum fields in your index. This then allows you to start using those new fields. The query time performance will be 
slower than index fields. But then if you combine in your queries index fields and uh, runtime fields, the engine will automatically rely on the index fields to limit the use of the runtime fields to only the those fields those uh, documents in which it's mandatory to use the runtime field and the um, impact on your query performance will be mitigated this way then after some time when you're using this uh, new field if you find it useful and you do want to index it you can change the uh, field to become index and edit to your template and on the next rollover when a new index is created for this data stream you will get the this data uh, this field index for the new documents that are coming and your queries can relate to all your uh, my dynamic index dash some number indices together and it, the query doesn't know so to speak that in some of those indices uh, this field is a runtime field while in the other uh, indices this field is index you don't need to change your query for that I encourage you to set up a trial environment in our cloud and experiment with this for yourself a link to the uh, calls that I used below. Thank you.